What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy John, to front. Tonight, I'm going to do my WWE NXT New Year's Evil review. And I like you guys to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. Now, NXT New Year's Evil was a pretty good show for what it was. All right, let's get started. So, we're kicking things off with Damian Priest versus Karrion Cross. This match was fantastic. All right, Cross and, and Priest lock up. The two fall out of the ring while lock up. The two finally separate as Priest rolls into the ring. Priest lands a kick, but Cross isn't affected. Priest lands a few strikes. Cross catches Priest's foot. Cross suplex um, Damian Priest. Cross beats Priest into the corner. Cross lands a close line in the corner. T-bone suplex Cross. Um, Priest kick out. Um, Cross locks Priest in a surfboard stretch. Priest fights to his feet, but but is quickly close line over the top rope. Cross slams Priest into the ring steps. Cross removes the upper part of the ring steps. Priest kicks across in the gut to avoid getting clubbed with the ring steps. Cross punches Priest in the ribs over and over again. Priest smiles at Cross. Priest rocks Cross with a nasty hand, uh, nasty right hand. Cross doesn't go down. Priest fires up and lands a few more strikes. Leaping, leaping complete shot by Priest. Cross kicks out. Stinger splash by Priest. Priest floors Cross after a lariat. Priest gets another near fall after the broken arrow. Priest misses a cyclone kick. Priest fight, fights his way out of the doomsday sado attempt by Cross. Priest lands a, an, arm, an arm DT. Priest locks Cross in a, mod, in a modified armbar. Cross turns it into a pin. Priest kicks out. Cross immediately starts clubbing Priest's injured ribs. Cross and Priest straight punches and kicks. Priest flattens Cross with a spring springboard um, senton. Cross responds with a running clo running clothesline. Priest kicks out. Cross traps Priest in a knee in, in a tree of wool. Um, Cross boots Priest in the in the gut multiple times. Cross levels Priest with a running knee to the ribs. Cross sits Priest sits Priest up on the top rope. Cross sets up a doomsday saddle off the top. Priest fights out of it. Priest kicks. Priest kicks Cross in the face. Priest struggles to struggles, but manages to pull Cross off the top for a razor razor edge. I like that spot by Damian Priest. I love that spot. But anyway, Priest slowly cross over it for a pin. Cross kick out. Cross rolls out to the apron. Cross and Priest straight punches. Priest catches Cross with a head kick as he tries to get back in the ring. Priest hits the Skywalker press to the outside. Priest sends Cross back into the ring. Priest hits a spinning heel kick off the top. Priest drops Cross with with the South of Heaven. Cross kicks out. Priest sets up the reckoning, but Cross escapes and hits a powerbomb. Cross only gets under another long two count. Priest and Priest and Cross fight outside of the ring. Priest tries a spin kick, but Cross catches him and slams him into a metal pole. Cross slams Priest on the ring steps. Cross drags Priest back in the ring. Priest struggles to get to his feet. Priest calls Cross a you know what. Cross de declaim de declaim decimates decimates Priest with a doomsday saddle. Cross. Blast Priest with a roaring elbow to the back of the head. Cross pins Priest. The winner of the match carrying across. This match was fantastic. Alright, let's move on. So we get backstage. Um, Adam Cole says the golden prophecy will be fulfilled again. It starts tonight when Kyle Riley becomes the undisputed NXT champion. Alright, NXT Cruiserweight Championship match. Santos Escobar versus Grand Metallic. Um, this match, this Cruiserweight title match was decent. It was a decent match for what it was. It says, um, alright, here we go. It says Escobar forced Metallic into a corner. Escobar fake and cleans break, but Metallic ducks his, his cheap shot attempt. Mentally glance a few runners before Escobar retreats out of the ring. Mentally gets sent to the apron. Escobar slides through Mentally's leg. As soon as Escobar lands, Mentally hits a a side moonsault. Mentally 
Matalik sends Escobar back into the ring. Matalik enters the ring with a Santa. Matalik walks the ropes and tries a hurricanrana off the apron, but Escobar catches Matalik and they powerbomb him into the barricade. After the break, Escobar drops Matalik wrist first on the top turnbuckle. Matalik surprises Escobar with a rolling sunset flip. Escobar kicks out. Matalik kicks Escobar in the head. Matalik skips the ropes before hitting a drop kick. Escobar rolls out of the ring. Matalik lands a lands a dive to the outside. Matalik gets a two count after a splash off off the ropes. Matalik takes the sky to, takes to the to the skies, but Escobar Escobar meets him in the air with a knee strike. Matalik falls to the outside. Escobar destroys Matalik with a suicide dive. Matalik kicks out again. Escobar sets sets up his finish. Matalik escapes. Escobar sits Matalik on the top rope. Escobar pushes Matalik off the top rope. Escobar goes for Matalik's mask. Dorado dives off the steps into Mendoza and Wow as they advance towards Matalik. Escobar pulls, Mat pulls Matalik off the top and hits Lado, Lado, his Lado. Escobar pins Matalik at the pin, at the pin driver, at the Phantom driver. The winner and still your NXT Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar. This was a decent, decent title match. That match itself was decent, but anyway, the arena. It says the arena goes dark. A throne appear on on the stage. Zali and Boa's master is sitting there. Lee and Bo appears next to her. Bo walks Zali to the ring. I love this new Zali gimmick. I really loved it. So we get Zali versus Karina Car Cortez. This match was quick. Zali was dominating in this match. Cortez, Cortez goes behind Lee. Zali escapes and destroys Cortez with a spin kick. Zali bows to her master on the stage. Zali lands multiple knees to Cortez. Cortez tries tries to fire it up, but Zali floors her with a leaping knee strike. Zali hits a cyclone kick. Cortez is out cold. Zali pins Cortez. The winner of the match, Zali. I love I love the new gimmick of Zali. Like I said earlier, but this match was quick. Zali was dominating. William Regal announced that Timothy Thatcher is unable to compete tonight due to injury. When Thatcher is cleared to return, he will face Tommaso Ciampa in the in the fight pit. I, may I ask again, why is Timothy Thatcher fighting Tommaso Ciampa? I just don't get it. It don't make any sense whatsoever. But let's move on. So we get the last um, the last woman standing match: Rhea Ripley versus Bacall Gonzalez. This was the match of the night. I love this match right here. This was the match of the night. So it says, um, the winner of the match was Quell Gonzalez. This, this this was the match of the night. I ain't gonna lie. So what more can what more can Rhea Ripley do? Eventually that Rhea Ripley should be caught up to the main roster. But I would love to see what Quell Gonzalez and Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley go up to the main roster and become a tag team. Now that right there would be awesome. But this last ma last women's standing match was what's the match of the night? And Raquel Gonzalez took the W. Alright, let's move on. So we get the way arrives. The way the way, yeah, the way arrives at the arena with a with a police escort. In ring in the in ring segment, the way. Johnny Gargano says they are here to celebrate because he broke the curse. He has reversed the curse. Candice LeRae says Gargano may be the most powerful man to ever exist. LeRae says she has a gift for her husband. LeRae gives Gargano a play, a, a pill play to celebrate his achievements. Austin Theory and Indian Hardwell says they have a gift for Gargano as well. The pre they, pre they, present, they present him with a drawing of the way as superheroes. Gargano announced the way will be in the Dustin's classic. Shotzi Blackheart interrupts. Blackheart says she didn't forget about Candice LeRae. Theory ch charges at Blackheart, but Blackheart shots him in the shots him in the nuts with a missile. That part was hilarious. 
Blackheart clears the ring. Gargano hops on the apron. Kushida, Kushida runs down to the runs down to ringside and pulls Gargano off. Kushida joins Blackheart in the ring. Ho, host Dexter Loomis rings the bell to indicate he making this this a match right now. Gargano and Le, Gargano and Leroy are are lived, living. Gargano and Candice Ray versus Kushida and Shashi Blackheart. This was a pretty good mixed tag team match. It says the winner of the match, Kushida and Shashi Blackheart. So we get, so Kushida pin, pins Johnny Gargano. It is what it is from there, but the winners of the match, Kushida and Shashi Blackheart. All right, let's move on. So Kushida is next in line for the North for the NXT North America title. All right, anyway, let's let's continue. Backstage, Commissioner really Regal announced that NXT would be holding an all-women's version of the Dustin Tag Team Classic. Pete Dunne, Oney Lorcan, and Danny Burch are in the crowd for the next match. So we get the NXT Championship match, Finn Balor versus Kyle Wright. We've seen this match be before. The first match was better, but this match was this match was good. That's all I gotta say. This match was good. I like the back and forth. It says, um, the winner and you, and still your NXT champion, Finn Balor. Now I thought that Kyle Riley was going to become your new NXT champion and shot the world. But it didn't happen. But they still put on a good match. But but still, Finn Balor and um Kyle Riley put on a good match. That's all I gotta say. The winner and still your NXT champion, Finn Balor. Alright, it says after the match the undisputed era runs down to ringside to check on Kyle Riley and NXT um, New Year's Evil goes off the air. Overall, NXT New Year's Evil was a pretty good show for what it was. And that's all I gotta say. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my WWE NXT New Year's Evil review and highlights, please drop a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll leave my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on my AEW Dynamite review and highlights. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night and stay safe. And I'm out of here.